YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a bit of a Power Rangers news rumor video surrounding a recent, well, news rumor that's been going around about the future of the upcoming Power Rangers reboot series, um, kind of the future of Power Rangers, I guess, in general. Uh, so just to recap, for those of you that aren't in the know, Power Rangers was a franchise started in 1990. For real, though, for a recap, just so you don't know what the old news was, if, in case you're watching this and you're, this is the first you're hearing about this, there was a, a news that came out a while back that Jonathan Entwistle was going to be helming this new Power Rangers sort of reboot, refresh universe after Dino Fury. It was going to include the movie, a couple TV series, they were all going to be interconnected. That was confirmed. That's not a rumor, that's news. That's what was happening. They were working on that new stuff for sure. And there was some rumors surrounding it, like there was a rumor we were going to be dropping Sentai adaptions and doing our own original thing that was tied in with that whole reboot movie universe. And there were some rumors and sort of details given about the idea of the movie involving time travel. Just kind of your classic early plot rumor stuff. But that's what was out there. Now there's some new news. And that new news is, is even though they're still planning on this reboot stuff, eventually they're going to be taking a step back and they're going to be waiting a little bit because they're really cautious and they're not sure what direction they want to go to. And as a result of this, there's also a rumor now that in the meantime, this may mean we will be continuing Sentai adaptions. And apparently the one at the top of the rumor list for the next adaption is Juoger. Now I'm going to give my thoughts kind of on all of this. I mean, first of all, I guess the idea of them taking a step back was for a couple reasons tied together. I guess they looked at the performance of the recent Snake Eyes movie, the G.I. Joe one, and I guess it didn't do well, and they're worried about Power Rangers doing the same because of how poorly the 2017 movie did financially, so they're kind of seeing the writing on the wall, like they're thinking, oh man, this could end up being history repeating, we need to take a step back. And so my thoughts on that are... I mean, first of all, I, I think it's a good idea to take a step back. It's kind of like when a game's delayed. You know, it can be annoying, but it's ultimately a good decision. And on the surface level of that, I think it's a good thing that they're not going to rush it out and possibly face another 2017 movie. I think it's a good thing that they have the foresight to take a step back and really figure out what they want to do and figure out the right approach. I think the 2017 movie is a good marker. I loved that movie, but... Financially and marketing wise, it was kind of a disaster. So I think that's a good thing to look at. Uh, the G.I. Joe thing, I don't know. I'm not an expert. It seems to me like you're the expert. I'm not. I'm just giving my opinion on it, and I don't think they should ever listen to fan opinions on anything. But it, that seems a little bit strange to me just because I guess it's kind of in a similar neighborhood, but the Snake Eyes movie specifically is just weird because. I can't remember the last time we had a regular G.I. Joe movie, and this was like a spin-off movie, releasing also during a weird time, although some movies have been doing really well at the box office recently. And it just feels like, I think that, that it's good that they're taking a cautionary tale from that, but I feel like they shouldn't read too much into that because of the situation of when it came out, how it came out, and what it is. But I do think it's a good thing that they're going to take their time. Now, what about us doing Sentai adaptions? Now, if you guys know me, I guess I'm controversial, because I'm one of the few that wants us to drop Sentai like a bad habit, I think it's time to break away from it and be free creatively. I was really excited by this idea of the new universe just being all new stuff. So I still want that to happen in the future. Even if we have to wait longer, that's still what I want to see long term, is us break free of that. The idea of us doing Sentai adaptions in the meantime doesn't make me mad for two primary reasons. One, I think it would be a smart way to keep the franchise out there while they're waiting. You know, that's kind of what Dino Fury and Beast Morphers were. They were just kind of keeping things on autopilot, they're, they keep the franchise like the wheels turning, the franchise wheels turning while they're working in the background. So I think the idea of possibly continuing the way it is in some form while they work on the new stuff in the background is a smart idea. It keeps the brand out there, and probably most importantly, we might get figures from Sentai that we never got before, like the Juoja figure. Now, of course, immediately, anytime any Power Rangers news comes out, it could be something like this, it could be a new birthday cake decoration, and the fans are immediately like, the end of the Power Rangers, part 20 and they're immediately taking it as doom and gloom. I mean, it's not the most optimistic news, but I don't think there's a reason to press the panic button yet. I mean, they just brought the franchise, and it's not unheard of for Hasbro to shelve properties for a while. If this happens, this delay or whatever, it's not as if the second Dino Fury airs, they're like, well, Power Rangers is shelved, no more Lightning Collection, no more mentioning Power Rangers, no more looking at Power Rangers, no more nothing, and it's just gonna go completely dormant. As much as it might upset some purists that think that the Lightning Collection is awful because they're missing elbow paint, that seems to be doing pretty well. And there's some eras of Hasbro's Power Rangers that are doing pretty decently. So even if there is a little bit of a quietness as we wait for the reboot universe, I don't think the brand's just going to be all of a sudden completely shelved. You know, because there are things going on like the comics and like the Lightning Collection that it has going for it. If they had owned Power Rangers for like 10 years or a little less, a little more, 
and things were really stagnant, I could say maybe they're going to shelve it for a while. You know, because like I said, they've done that in the past where franchises have gone a little dormant and then come back. But we're still so soon into them buying it, and they really haven't fully made their mark on it. So, I mean, again, there could be a delay, and there probably is going to be a delay on this reboot, but I wouldn't be too worried about it. I just see it as them being cautious, and it might not be their priority amongst their other bigger brands, which makes sense, but I think that they're going to work on it, and we're going to see it sooner than later, meaning I don't think it's going to be like 10, 15 years or something like that. It's not like bad news or bad good news, it's like medium news. You know what I mean? Like, I feel people immediately assume Hasbro's gonna kill the brand, and that's just not the case, you know? I don't know whether, if we continue Sentai adaptions, it would be immediate or not, like after Dino Fury we get it, or if there would be a little bit of a break because they decided to stop and start, but I think that that's the worst that's gonna happen, is a period of quiet. Not even full quiet. Again, I think we'll still have other franchise things happening, it just might be a little quieter, and I think that's the worst we're in for. They really are taking their time to figure out the best approach because they want to know exactly what kind of audience they want to get. I think that's a good thing. So long as they eventually do it, I think that's a good thing. And again, if we do Sentai adaptions um, in the meantime, and it keeps the brand out there and it gives us figures, that's cool. Something else I thought about too, though, is I feel like they could do something to sort of test the waters. Like, instead of coming out full force with like, here's a movie and a bunch of TV shows and it's all interconnected and let's try to be the MCU. Like, why not try it with something small? Like, instead of launching with the movie, which I understand would probably be the smartest idea for launching a new universe in terms of a big thing, but why not sort of open the door a little with like one new TV show, like maybe one new animated show, you know, kind of test the waters of what type of uh, tone and audience you want to get, and then use that as a gauge for the new universe. Like, they said there was going to be a couple different shows, so let's presume there's two shows, right? Like, launch one of them that would be the smaller one, as like a test, you know, and then see and kind of gauge from there, like, okay, this is the direction we want to take it, this is the audience we want for this and this, and then you launch the movie and the new show and say, hey, that connects back to this in a cool way, and then that could be a good way to test the waters without putting all your eggs in one basket. That way, if it messes up, you know, like, okay, let's not do that when we do the actual full-on reboot. And better yet, you know, again, I don't know the finances of all this, but keep the two shows going. Keep the main live-action one going for right now with the Juojur adaption or whatever, and then test the waters with the second show. You know, I know this is some people's worst nightmare, but I wouldn't be mad at them doing, like, a limited MMPR animated series, you know, and, and put it under the guise of, this is for the anniversary, but sort of use it to test the waters of their approach of Power Rangers for their reboot universe. I feel like I said the words tested in the waters like a million times just now. As far as Juojur, I'm fine with that. Honestly, I'm fine with us doing any of the ones we skipped. You know, I'd be happy with Juojur, I'd be happy with Q-Ranger, I'd be happy even with Zenkaiger. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm happy with any of them. I don't necessarily have any thoughts specifically on that. I know a lot of people are amped up about the 30th anniversary and stuff coming up, but if you're a regular viewer, you know I'm a bit um, overstuffed with all that anniversary stuff, so I'm not really <laughs> looking to that so much. I'm more excited about the future of the brand and not so much the next anniversary celebration. Um, I think at most, I just would want like a one episode, like a one two-parter episode. But I don't need an anniversary season. Please, no anniversary season. And I think that's another reason to maybe be hopeful about even if we take a break that they're going to want to have something out there for the anniversary, you know, because it would be not a bad look. That sounds awful to say, like they have to do anything. But I think it would be, wouldn't be that smart of a choice to have nothing out there when they do have an anniversary coming up. So we might have a bit of quiet, but I don't think the brand is going to be shelved. And I don't think there's a reason to worry so much. I know that there was people worried about... Um, the fact that we hadn't heard anything for so long, and until this news came out, I wasn't even that worried because if you guys have been paying attention to the world, all movies had been delayed, and they were just in pre-production, so their timetable was probably set back even further from a, a manner of speaking, so I wasn't that worried, and I'm still not that worried. I'm a little disappointed we might not get to the new universe right away, but I'm still looking forward to us hopefully eventually wiping this lake clean and doing our own thing, but in the meantime, I don't think it's going to be as bad as you guys think, but I want to know very cautiously asking what you guys think. Uh, would you be excited by a Juojur adaption? Do you think it's the right move to wait? Um, if we do continue Sentai adaptions for a little bit longer, um, which ones do you want to see uh, first? But also, I just want to stress, both with the Toy Split rumors and with this, this is just rumors right now. You know, I'm just speculating based off of, like, what if this were true, but they're just rumors right now, just for discussion. But let me know in the comments, as always. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell. See you in for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.